Welcome back to the VTC course on Wireshark. My name is Jamie Yotes and I am your host during this training. In the previous videos, we had a look at what Wireshark is and how to obtain a copy. During this video, we will start to look at the usage of Wireshark, or should I say, the legal aspect of using it. Before going crazy, and wanting to track every data packet on a network with your newly installed network analyzer, be sure to read your company policy. A good and comprehensive network and IT policy will prohibit you from using network analyzers on the company network. Usually, the only exception of this is if your job description specifies that you are allowed or employed for network analysis. You may also provide network or security consulting services for company clients. But this does not mean that you can use your newly installed sniffer on the company network. If, however, you are an administrator and allowed to legitimately run a sniffer, you can use it to enforce your company's security policy. If the policy on using sniffers is not clear within your organization, then do take the time to get permission in writing from the appropriate department or manager before using Wireshark or any other security related tools. On the other hand, if your security policy prohibits using file sharing applications such as BitTorrent or a messaging service such as IRC or even MSN Instant Messenger, then you could use a sniffer to detect this type of activity on the network. Or it could well be that you provide security services for clients. In such a case, be sure that using a sniffer is included in your rules of engagement. Do be very specific about how, where and when the sniffer will be used. Also be sure to provide clauses within the contract or any contract received that will exempt you from any liability of learning confidential information related to the company you are working for. Do ensure that any of your sniffing activities do not violate any laws against wiretapping within your country, as this could result in jail time or even come under the Terrorist Act. Please do take this information very serious. There have been many people in the past that have lost their employment due to using such applications on a company network without good authority. In the next video, we will take a look at who and what kind of people would use Wireshark.